Yo, what up? Benjamin D'Souza here. And I want to talk about the uh, invasion of the drones into the black manosphere. You know, I frequent the black manosphere. And, uh, you know, I listen to a lot of content. Some content is good. Some, some content is better than the others. But now I'm seeing that there's a, another faction trying to uh, infiltrate this school of thought. You know, particularly these drones. And from what I've seen over the past couple of uh, podcasts, whether that be that uh, podcast that uh, Old Man did and that uh, Nyla Says podcast, this gentleman, Taz, he is a lowbrow, uh, knuckle dragon Neanderthal. This gentleman is not to be taken seriously at all. He should be laughed out of the room everywhere he goes. Heard him on the Nyla Says podcast. As soon as some, you know, as soon as some detractors came on and had some different views, all it was, all you heard was bitch ass nigga and just a, a whole bunch of ignorance. Then when he got on the old man's podcast, he can't even form a cogent argument. He couldn't even follow what he was saying. It was so many times niggas was like, what? What are you talking about? Like, we can't even follow your argument. Come on, man. Stu's a full-grown crack baby. And when you go back and listen to the the Nyla Says podcast, this bitch is doing the same shit. All she doing is motherfucker, bitch-ass nigga. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, chick, what, what are you doing? And you not even all that. Like, come on, man. This bitch look like young jock in the face. Oh, me, me in the trap is going down face ass. With your fat ass nose and your bulbous eyes. Fuck you talking about? Like somebody's supposed to be taking you seriously. Is this a joke? Like, are you serious? Just a watered down Cynthia G. Ridiculous. But yeah, man, just just listening to that dude on Obsidian's podcast was just like, oh my God, stop the bleeding. It's like nails on a chalkboard. I'm sitting there listening attentively, trying to follow if he had any points to make. And I'm like, dude, I can't, can't even follow your points, man. He's just all over the place, man. You know? And it's like... uh Nas said in his song, Ghetto Prisoners, he said, you know, do not speak to fools. They'll scorn the wisdom of your words. My heart is wise, bloodshot eyes, the saga never dies. But yeah, man, don't don't speak to fools, man. Do not speak to fools. And it is clear that this guy is a fool. When you got to resort to nigga and hoe ass nigga and you know, we got to use that as a crutch. Come on, it just shows your lack of intelligence. And then you notice a lot of these, uh, these effeminate men, they're starting to talk like the women. Now, what I said, the point that I was trying to make, quote me right, like, you notice how bitches talk like that? Then you got these bitch-ass niggas that, that, that is using the same voice inflection and shit. See this shit all the time. And it be these, these wannabe gangsters. Now, if you're going to quote me, you need to quote what I said. I'm like, nigga, is, am I talking to a female? A finger-snapping, neck-rolling, eye-rolling, weave-patting female? Or am I talking to a grown man? Like, why are you using their voice inflections? God damn. You're sounding like a whole, a whole bitch. And you know, Gab, from what I, you know, you know what, let me not even bring that up, but I, I will say this. 
and I've said it before. If you study evolution in Darwin, there are two concepts in the thought of evolution called the founder's effect and the bottleneck effect. I believe I've spoken on this before. The founder's effect is when a smaller group from a larger group leaves the larger group and they go off somewhere else and they start their own shit. It's like, it's like a clan leaving a tribe and then going off somewhere else and then multiplying themselves into their own separate tribe. So the bottleneck effect is when a disaster happens where let's say a tribe's numbers get shrunken down into like a band. And if you don't know about tribes, clans, bands, and families, it goes families, bands, clan, tribe. That's the progression up into it. You go look it up. But uh, yeah, what we have going on in the black community, like I said before, is a two-prong bottleneck effect and founder's effect. <clears throat> People who make, you know, stupid mistakes in their life, they fall by the wayside, they fall victim to the bottleneck effect. And when you got people who see what's going on, they say, you know what, ah, I'm not gonna deal with that foolishness over there. That's the founder's effect. Now what we have with these drones, they're attempting to come and quelch the, uh, the bottleneck, not the, the founder's effect from happening. And you know, listen, <clears throat> everybody makes mistakes, okay? We're not perfect. I've made my share of mistakes. But there are some mistakes in life that just can't be fixed. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you just got to let people lie in their own bed that they made straight like that. You know, like I've said before, if you get a speeding ticket, that's a small mistake. You can go get it paid. You can go pay that ticket after a while, you know, the... uh the point of getting removed off your license, no harm, no foul. Eventually, your insurance will go back down. You know, you're good. But if you get busted and convicted on, let's say, capital murder, ain't no coming back from that. You're going up the river, 25 with an L, you know. So, like I said before, there's some mistakes. You know, some people can be, you know, uh, a miscreant in their youth and they can come around and whatnot. And some people are just perpetual fuck ups. <clears throat> I don't have all day. I don't I don't have much time to be uh trying to rehabilitate everybody and save everybody. You know? Cause like fifty cents said, we all can't win. Some of us gotta lose. There are going to be some losers in the black community. There's going to be a lot of losers in the black community. Some people may, some of these losers may be friends of mine. Or may be family members of mine. Hell, God willing, I don't become a loser. You know what I mean? It's only by the grace of God that I'm, you know, able to lease do what I'm doing now, you know, but, uh, yeah, you can't save everybody, man, because it's like, it's like somebody's drowning, right, and you jump in the water to save them, and you tell them, hey, I need you to stay calm so I can pull you to shore. But if they don't stay calm and they keep flailing, they can pull you down with them and both of y'all gonna drown. Me, I'm of the mindset, I'm gonna be on shore on the edge of the edge of the pool. I'll throw you a lifesaver. You better grab it. You better grab it.
But yeah, man, that's all I got for this one. Stay away from these knuckle draggers, man. Stay away from these low-level life forms. <laughs>